guys, howdy do. I'm Karen Adamski with shamamama.com and I just wanted to stop today in the middle of my personal painting practice and share with you uh, my meditation painting from today. And this is something that's so easy and so fun uh, that anybody can do it. And so I wanted to just share the, the process with you in the hopes that maybe you'll try it yourself and it might bring you some peace like it brings me. So this is what I've been working on um, I've, over the last couple of days. This is something that you know, you might just sit down and whip it out in 10 minutes or half an hour, or you may take weeks or months, or you, maybe you'll never be finished with it. But it's, it's just um, a piece that is meant to um, engage, turn off your left brain a little bit and ignite your right brain a little bit. So starting into that creative process, lose going inward a little bit more into your creative process and letting go of all the outside stuff, all the social influences and really um, connecting with yourself and connecting with uh, the earth and the air and the elements and um, whatever it is that speaks to you. So that's what this process is all about. It's definitely a meditative process. So uh, the ultimate goal in this is not to have this beautiful painting that you're gonna hang on the wall. Sometimes that happens and it's like, oh, that's really cool, I'm gonna keep it. Or, you know, you might work, turn out to have something, um, you know, that you wouldn't want to hang on the wall, but that's okay because it's a layer that you're painting. You can paint over things that you don't like. So this is what I ended up with. There was a um, kind of a fun painting underneath here that I had. Uh, I should have taken a picture of it to show you, but it was just really simple. It was like a, like a sunset uh, and palm trees, and, and I had spray painted. You can see some of the, um, let's see if you can see this. You can see some of the uh, drips here. Um, so there's a painting underneath there where this all kind of started, but you don't see much of it anymore. So that's where we start. Either start with a blank, can blank canvas and paint something really simple, just how you're feeling. Um, or maybe you have, uh, maybe you're an artist and you've dabbled a little bit uh, and you have a painting that you know is not right. Um, it's maybe brought you some frustration or you just want to move on and start something new, use that painting as your foundation and um, we'll put the mandala on top of that, okay? That's what these are called, this um, mandala. These, um, they're usually kind of circular and they echo the patterns, uh, kind of rippling out. A lot of times you'll see these lotus, um, lotus pattern leaves, circles, teardrops, half circles. Um, so it's really fun if you haven't played around with it, check out uh, just Google mandala and see all the different neat uh, shapes that come up. It's pretty cool. So that's what we're doing here. And it really, uh, mandalas have been used for since the beginning of time to um, help people get into that meditative state. So painting a mandala is, is just extra good juju, right? <laughs> so today what I'm going to do, instead of, um, let's see, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to show you, this is what I'm going to paint on today. And this is something that was originally all this smeary stuff in the back is something that my parents did when I was giving them a lesson in Hawaii. Um, they we used this as just like a to clear off their brushes, and so they were just smearing and like, okay, great, just you know, let it go. So that was the foundation, and then um, I kind of did some writing on here of just stuff that I'm wanting to step away from or rid myself of or balance out in some way. They're not all necessarily bad things. They're just um, areas that I need to work personally. So um, like for example here, I wrote fear. Let's see if you can see this. Fear, rose-colored glasses, fitting molds, family, attachment, judgment, ego, control, expectations. So these are just all things that um, you know, that are on my mind and that I would like to get rid of. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint over this and turn it into something really beautiful. So although some of this might seem really crappy and shitty and ugly, that's okay because that's where things start, right? That's like the manure um, for, for beautiful growth. So it's okay to be, you know, to take something that you might not, you might not like so much or just the intention might be something that is hard for you to let go of, but just to give it that that power and that 
intention or that um, conscious um, acknowledgement, I guess, is very helpful in planting the seeds and then painting and turning it into something beautiful. Okay. So uh, another, um, I wanted to show you really quick because I had a couple paintings here that were for my daughter and her friend. Um, and these would be really great starts to a mandala too. So it's just a basic, you know, I'm, this is what I'm thinking of in the moment. And this is her first layer of the foundation in her painting. This would be beautiful as a background. This is another painting, totally different, but we could do a mandala on top of that as well. So. You might have paintings like this laying around that you want to turn into something different. All right, so just getting started with this. Um, first thing, I wouldn't normally do this, but just for teaching purposes here, just um, showing you this example. Um, I would make a grid and you can kind of see how I did it here where you find the center and kind of branch out from there um, and I don't want to center it right now I, I think that was my intention at first but now I'm very much feeling like um, I don't want to be stuck in the middle I want to be off on the side doing my own thing and growing from there so I'm gonna start about right here right in the middle of my word fear isn't that interesting because that is definitely something I, I struggle with. Like it, it's, my anxiety is often rooted in fear, and I've been having a lot of um, panic attacks lately, and, and hence this, this painting process that I'm going through. So it's bringing these things up and making me understand where they're coming from. So, All right, so here's my center. So I'm just going to make kind of a... This is going to kind of get covered up, you know, but it's just to give you an idea of the sections, just to sort of help your left brain right now be happy, okay? Your left brain is that more analytical side where you're, um, you know, the things have to be lined up just this way and it has to be perfect and measured and mathematical and balanced and, um, and that's good for some things, but for right now we're not worrying about that. We're letting that go and we're really engaging in our right brain. And this is somewhat symmetric, but we are not going to make it perfect by any means. And that's part of this practice, just being in that wabi-sabi moment, that um, the art of imperfection and, and seeing the beauty in that. Okay. So here's my grid. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is take, uh, let's see, I just need to find a better brush. Let's see. I'm going to take my black and I'm just going to draw out uh, the mandala. So I'm going to start with just a small circle here. Okay. And you can have these lines. These, it's okay if they're really dark and if they're really fat because we're going to, um, like you can see on, let's see here, in here, there's these dark lines here, but they, um, they're covered up with other paint too. So it's okay to lay a pretty fat line down and don't worry about it. Okay. Just, just imagine yourself in like kindergarten or first grade or fifth grade or whatever it is that feels right to you. And mm, imagine you are um, just painting, you know? It's like, okay, it's free time to paint. And then you just go for it, right? You just paint whatever you felt like painting and you bring it home and it's like, look what I did, woohoo! And you know, it's, it, it's beautiful and you're proud of it. And other people are like, oh, that's really great. Good job. Let's hang it up and show it off to the world. You know, when you were a kid, you weren't afraid of that. So you see how this grid is kind of giving me some, a little bit of direction um, in terms of my placement of these petals. I think I might have might have messed up, but you know what? That's okay. Um, so you just kind of do a pattern out and out and out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do, let's see here. I'll just do like a circle on the end of every petal. You can 
you can kind of tell where I messed up a little bit. That's okay. And we're gonna get kind of a teardrop. Teardrop. And you can expand onto the edges of your painting as well because um, you know it's, it, you don't want to have white edges on your painting. So continue on um, painting the edges as you're going. All right, so there's one mandala. So now that we've got those layers there, what I'm going to do is just sort of fill them in. Mm, and I'm going to work with kind of lighter colors here because it's already kind of a dark, dark um, pattern already. So I'm going to kind of go with muted colors, pastel -y kind of colors. So if I go too dark, it's like it's just going to get lost in there and it's just going to look really, really muddy, you know? So you just go from one petal to the next. Or if it's not a petal for you, you know, whatever that is. If it's a circle, if it's a square, if it's a, a wave, you know, whatever it is. Just keep going around the circle and repeating. Okay, now rather than clean off my brush at this point, I'm just going to take it and scrub it off. Okay, let's see, I put a little bit of yellow in here. Um, so why don't I take, I'm going to just put like a yellow stripe here at the top of every petal. And I'm not necessarily planning this in any way. I'm just doing whatever feels right in the moment. Okay. And you may get to a point where it's like, oh, shoot. Uh, you know, I, I, I forgot to go pick up the kids. Or, oh, gosh, I was supposed to make dinner a half hour ago. Or, shoot, I'm late for my conference call. You know, whatever it is. Um, that's a good thing actually, because you're checking out of the real world for the moment and you're, you're going inward and going into this fun, creative, relaxing place and you're losing track of time. Losing time is awesome. So, um, but if you really do need to be someplace, maybe set a timer or something, but you may start to feel yourself slipping into this place as you're going through and, um, and painting. Put some blue in here. Blue is, makes me think of the ocean or the water element, and I always like to bring in the elements to every painting that I do. So I want to represent air and water and the earth and the sky, and I'll do that in here. This is already where I can tell this is sort of looking a little bit globy, earth-like, so I might turn this into the planet, into the planet Earth. Big blue marble kind of thing. Just because that feels right. Okay, I'm gonna just add a little bit of cloud in there. And this is not necessarily something you have to do, it's just like I said, something I'm feeling in the moment, so. All right, so we've got our yellows going around there. Let's see, let's not forget our teardrop shapes up here. OK, 
okay? And just think echo. And think about what are you echoing? Who are you? What are you echoing in your head? Make sure you have a good positive echo. What are you echoing out to the world? What are you echoing out to your kids? To your family? To your neighbors? Are you echoing messages of love and kindness? Or are you are you echoing bitterness in some way? And I'm not saying there's a right or wrong, it's just what is what is you what is it that you want? How do you want to live your life? All right. Um, let's see here. I'm going to take some of this pink that's still on my brush and kind of smear it on this other side of this petal across from the yellow. And again, just echoing. It's just pattern. So repeat, repeat, repeat all the way around. And don't have expectations. Okay? You might put something down and think, gosh, this is not what I was thinking it was going to look like at all. That, does, that doesn't matter. It's okay. It's the point, you know, the, the process of painting here. I feel like taking some red and sticking it in here someplace. I'm going to put a dot between each petal here. That's kind of looking um, pretty dark still, so I'm going to come on the outside of this yellow, put a white, and see what that does. That's why I was saying your, um, you know, the big fat black lines at the beginning. That's okay because see we're covering them up um, to a point. In the very end, when you're done with your painting, you can always go back and highlight, um, outline, you know, with the black paint um, to really give it that sharp kind of look once you have, you know, once you're finished. But you may never be finished. You might just want to keep, keep going, keep going. So this is really it. This is this is how you do it. You know, it doesn't get much easier than that, right? Um, it's just a matter of checking out. And mandalas are really, really great for that. So give it a shot. You know, and if you don't have paint and, and, a, and a canvas and all of this, maybe just take a, um, a notepad and a ballpoint pen and doodle. Uh, maybe find a, an art journal, um, just a pad of paper that you can sit on the couch. And anytime you sit down, rather than turning on the TV, just doodle for a little bit and feel yourself relax. It's a good thing. It's a really, really good thing and you deserve it. So I, uh, I hope that this helps you. I hope that you find this practice um, beneficial and super fun because it is. Don't give up. I say give it, give it a few shots and let it really sink in. And um, don't, don't worry about what your painting looks like in the end. Drop expectations. There's a good practice in that. So I hope you are well and I will see you soon. Namaste. Thanks for watching.